Well, you know, sleep apnea can be a serious condition if you have it when you're sleeping, and even more serious if you're behind the controls of a speeding train. Federal authorities are considering that condition as a possible cause for this week's train crash in New York City happened to Brooklyn. More than 100 people were injured when that train slammed into the end of the track at the terminal. They will test the engineer of that train for that condition of sleep apnea, a disorder that can cause excessive daytime sleeping. And it's been linked also to about half a dozen major train crashes over the past few years, including several where passengers were killed. Dr. Jen Cottle joins us now. She's a family physician and assistant professor at the Rowan School of Osteopathic Medicine. First of all, doctor, can you describe what is sleep apnea? Absolutely. Well, you know, sleep apnea is actually a very common condition. A lot more people have it than we probably think. And what happens is that at night, a person actually stops breathing. It's brief, but it happens multiple times throughout the night. And, and a lot of people with sleep apnea don't even know that they have it. Um, there's many types of sleep apnea, but the most common type is obstructive sleep apnea. That's when the muscles in the back of the throat don't actually keep the airway open so that breathing can occur normally. Um, so again, you stop breathing multiple times at night and it can have really serious consequences yeah and if you have it I mean you may be exhausted and tired and you know fuzzy headed the rest of the day that's exactly right and I've actually had a lot of patients tell me you know it's one of the things I'm looking for when patients say things like you know I wake up in the morning but I just don't feel like I've slept at night but I did or they say you know I'll fall asleep just watching TV or sometimes I get sleepy when I'm driving in my car you know one of the hallmark symptoms is this what we call daytime somnolence or feeling tired during the day even when you slept at night and one of the reasons is because a person with sleep apnea actually stops breathing multiple times throughout the night they don't even know it so yes being tired during the day is one of the hallmark symptoms, absolutely. So now we don't know what the situation with the engineer of this train that, 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 that it was in the morning. It, uh, passengers said it was going too fast when it slammed into the end of the track at the station in Brooklyn. Very similar case to what happened a few months ago in Hoboken across the uh, Hudson River here in New York City when a train was going fast, they say, and also slammed into the end in the terminal. One person was killed. Uh, but we've had this before in several incidences, and, and what's interesting is both crashes happened, you know, in the more during the morning rush hour. Well, it is. I mean, you know, it, it really is. And I, you know, I read some of the articles about the cases, and certainly there's an investigation going on about what factors might have contributed to the current crash that we're talking about. But, you know, when we talk about sleep apnea, somebody with sleep apnea, for example, in, in that particular situation, yes, they can be tired during the day, but sometimes um, these patients have other symptoms as well. You know, some of these patients actually will gasp or snort at night when they sleep. Sometimes they will snore. Uh, sometimes they have headaches. But, but the key here, as a family doctor, when I've seen patients with sleep Sleep apnea, the truth of the matter is, is these symptoms can occur at any point during the day if that's in fact what a patient has. So it's another reason why these conditions, and especially sleep apnea, has to be evaluated and treated. And especially when we talk about things like trains and planes and automobiles, um, because there can be a higher risk with these uh, types of uh, types of things. You know, and there was a train crash uh, in, in 2013 in which there was a fatality it happened in the Bronx, New York, a metro train going around the curve 82 miles an hour too fast. The engineer in that case, William Rockefeller, uh, apparently fell asleep uh, and they said that he had suffered from sleep apnea. He sued the uh, railroad saying they should have had the proper controls, which they didn't have. So, I mean, this can be, you know, the controls actually to stop a speeding train, you know, if you suffer from this. So this can be a serious condition. It really can, and, and this is what really actually takes us to, yes, we're talking about these train incidents and, and what may have been uh, involved, but this is why it's actually relevant for everyone, no matter whether you are an engineer of a train or not, or whether you just drive a car. I mean, when we, when we were talking about sleep apnea as a condition, once again, because a person with sleep apnea actually stops breathing multiple times at night, it causes interrupted sleep, which then makes them drowsy during the day and potentially more yeah. likely to fall asleep behind the wheel. Doctor, so that's why we have to know. Know if this is happening. We're up against the clock, sorry, so if you suffer from it, tell your doctor.